tutorial video for you guys going over how to varnish oil paintings. I'm gonna be sharing my approach to varnishing, however, these are just some techniques that I've learned work for me, and I'm sure that there's many other approaches out there that work just as well, so take it for what it's worth. <laughs> but there are a few main reasons I always finish my paintings with a couple coats of varnish. The first reason is to act as a protective layer. The varnish will coat your painting so that dust and dirt, moisture, other things like that don't build up on the surface of your artwork. And the second reason is the varnish will even out the painting's final appearance. It'll make it equally glossy or matted even, depending on which varnish and finish that you choose. But what I've noticed is that if I use more medium in some areas of my painting, it ends up a little bit shinier than other areas that I use less medium. So to unify the reflectivity of the surface, adding a coat of varnish will make it consistent throughout. And then lastly, varnishes really intensify the appearance of pigments on the painting surface by the reflection of light. So some colors will appear much deeper, the darks will be a lot darker and more luminous and, you know, just richer overall. While lighter colors will look even brighter and it's so incredibly satisfying to see the colors of your finished piece come to life after you put the fresh coat of varnish on it. It's like one of my favorite parts of the whole painting process. But the varnish itself will go on clear and it'll remain clear over the life of your painting so you don't have to worry about it yellowing or anything like that. And according to the bottle, it says that it's easily removable. Um, all you have to do, I guess, is grab a clean rag and some mineral spirits and you can kind of just gently wipe the fresh coat of varnish off if you need to. So that's nice to know, you know, even though that it takes a little bit of practice to get a pretty even finish when you're varnishing, you'll get better at it as you go. There's really nothing to fear if something goes wrong. So here are some things I think are really important to keep in mind whenever you're going into varnishing. First, I think probably the most important thing is to make sure that your painting is fully dry before you add any varnish to it. So to test for this, you can find the thickest area of your painting and gently press it um, and you'll know if it's dry or not. And if it's dry, then it can be safely varnished. But most varnishes recommend waiting three to six months. However, I'm using Gamblin's varnish and you can start applying varnish whenever the painting is dry to the touch with Gamblin products. So usually I really only have to wait a couple weeks depending on how many coats of paint I have on my painting and then I can go in with the Gamblin varnish. So that makes it really nice. Also, something else that's really important, before you start varnishing, make sure that you're working in a clean and dust-free area, and also make sure that the surface of your painting is clean. I like to use a lint roller to get off any dust or hair that might be stuck to my painting. As long as you're not pressing too hard with the lint roller and you're kind of just like softly brushing over the top of it, that seems to work really well. And another tip I would say is super, super important is when you're applying the varnish, you wanna brush it on really thin, you guys. You want it to be even and uniform. I think it's best to start with a very thin layer and then do a second coat after that first coat is dry. And I like to keep it at that. You can do about three layers. It just depends on how glossy you want your surface to look towards the end. Also make sure that when you're working, you are working on a flat surface and that the painting's not standing upright. You want this protective coat to dry even. So doing this on a flat surface is the best way to allow it to dry nice and even without you know any drippage or anything like that. You can varnish one to three coats depending on how glossy you want your finish to be. I usually do two. And I've also noticed that the varnish has a tendency to dry sort of quickly, so I kind of recommend using like a really vigorous motion to try to cover as much of the surface of the painting with as little varnish as possible. And this will ensure an even coating and prevent it from beating up, which I have also experienced from using too much varnish before. So yeah, those are basically my tips. This is how I would recommend going about varnishing. I think it can really enhance paintings, whether you're working with acrylics or oil paints. 
I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your time with me today, and I will hopefully see you in another video.